I was forced to eat at fancy restaurants for a month dollar dollar dollar. Many years ago, I got put on a work assignment for months that required me to travel to New York City and stay every Monday to Friday. I was assisting a company manager with a project and my hotel was near his regular office in the theater district. If you are not familiar, the theater district is heavily built for tourists. Restaurants are generally kind of fancy and expensive. There were really not any quick and cheap options for dining in that area. The company had a generous meal policy of up to $30 40 meal for travel expenses. I did use that for a bit, but the food got to feeling too indulgent and kind of ridiculous given it was an extended assignment. Also I was working really long hours and did not want to go sit in restaurants I just wanted to go watch TV and sleep in my room. So after the first week or so, I instead went to a grocery store on Monday night. I bought some basics for cereal, sandwiches and snacks, and some frozen meals I could microwave for lunch in the office. It cost about $60. I then took a few cans of soda from my hotel fridge to make room for my weekly food purchase, and returned them before checking out at the end of the week. And that was it for food costs, with an occasional meal out here or there. I did the same the next four weeks, submitted my expense report at the end of the month. You know where this is going. A lady from accounting called, and refused to reimburse my expenses because $60 is more than $40, the max allowance for a meal purchase. I explained that had covered five days of food but was told it didn't matter. I then spent the next month trying all the food in the neighborhood. There really were not any cheap options. I went out to eat a few mornings, lunch whenever I found time, and dinner absolutely every day. I could have bought a few installments of groceries but the once per week shopping convenience was part of why I'd wanted them. It had also seemed wasteful for me to go out for an expensive meal every night for long-term travel, but now I'd been told that was preferred by accounting to my grocery bills. The next month, I got a call from my NYC manager asking how I'd run through more budget every week of the month than the entire month before combined. I explained the grocery situation, and he thanked me and hung up. About 10 minutes later, that same lady from accounting called me to tell me they'd pay my still not reimbursed grocery bill and any going forward as long as the daily amount averaged for the week was under the aggregate meal allowance. I happily returned to a more reasonable diet. In my line of work, we get paid the max per day allowed. If we use it or not that was up to us. I traveled for almost three years straight, so the hotels I stayed in regularly bumped up to the suites with kitchens. I would spend months on the road. When I flew out to assignments, I'd just buy Tupperware, plastic knife, forks etc. I ended up getting an additional $300 a week because it'd only spend $100 a week on food. Most core are like that. Instead, I make multiple grocery trips, making sure each trip cost less than the daily allowance. I had the same thing happen. I was trying to maintain a diet so I would stop at a grocery store the first night that I arrived in town and buy everything I needed for the week. A couple of times, the total ran over the allotted amount for dinner, so my manager started hassling me about it and told me that I couldn't do that anymore, he just didn't want to have to explain the overages. It was stupid. Friend of mine is the AIA for the CMO of a Fortune 50 company. Someone in compliance wrote a nasty email addressed to said C-suite exec saying they can't spend more than $100 on any expense without getting prior approval. It was for bereavement flowers totaling $120. A company I used to work for would give you £100 a day extra when you worked away. This was to buy food and a hotel with. And if you didn't use all the money, you could just keep it. Much more fair and let people get a bonus for working away from home. My boss groaned at a grocery bill when I was traveling for work. I told him I don't eat out at restaurants like the other guys do as I was pretty serious about exercise and diet at the time. Our meal allowance was $60. I spent about $120 a week on groceries. The other guys would spend the full amount every night as they should because you should get whatever you can out of your company. Luckily my boss wasn't going to be stupid just to be stupid. Oh man, I used to travel to conferences for work a few times a year. Max $100 a day. Usually spends two four weeks a time in a place. I 100% tried to use up every penny of my allowance every day. One trip to Vegas for Black Hat. DEF CON, BSIDES, GAME SECOND I gained about 10 kilograms but it was worth it. Two kinds of people I guess open mouth smile. I think that lady works for my business now, I fucking hate her. My previous company would only reimburse transportation for business, to and from the airport, 
if it was by a real taxi, not ride-sharing, even though most of the time, the ride-sharing was the cheaper option. Screw secrecy, when I worked for AWS they had me travel. A lot. Meal allowance was $50 per meal. So I would treat the entire team I was working with to lunch every day at whatever place they wanted. If it was a business lunch, they didn't care how expensive it got, just so long as everyone covered their own booze beyond two drinks. Exact same scenario at my job. We were a team that traveled to train etc. We all eventually started getting sick. Eating out five days a week will mess you up. One from the team got really really sick. They approved grocery shopping after that. So much cheaper too. Our daily allowance was $100, we would spend $50 $60 one time and eat fruits and veggies and healthy all week. My job recently asked me to go back in the road I said hell no. I'm not doing it again. Duck and moronic bureaucratic types ruin everything. Ask for 12 slices of toast, untoasted and in a plastic bag. 12 eggs uncooked in a carton. If you want to go cheap, there are plenty of places to grab a slice or kebab in theater district. Also plenty bodegas and delis to grab a sandwich. Reasonable diet. How are snacks, soda and frozen meals a better diet that fancy restaurant? Most hotels will clear out the minibar fridge if you ask. A bonus is it makes it more difficult to bill you for something you didn't use. Also I've heard tell of a guy who realized that new shirts were cheaper than the hotel laundry and tried to submit an expense report for them. Company was not impressed. I had a similar situation after a work trip to a conference. Most meals were a few bucks at McDonald's, and I indulged in a couple milkshakes from an ice cream place. Actual restaurant dining was only a couple times. When I got back and submitted everything, I got coached for a lunch that went over the $20 limit. It was Vegas, and I had to tip. I sent an email back, copying my boss, and explained the math of the total budget I would have been allotted if I maxed it out for every meal proved how many hundreds of dollars I saved the company by not doing that, and kindly asked that they do the math next time before harassing someone who had one meal out of 15 go over budget by less than 5 bucks. I don't understand why you ate microwave meals over restaurant meals. When traveling for work I only eat the most expensive food I can find. If they make me leave home they might as well pay for my Michelin star experiences. We have no limit for individual meals. This happened to me too but no fix came later. So silly. If I got that call from your NYC manager, I'd hope I had my wits about me and I'd say. Well, I got the most amazing phone call from accounting a couple of weeks ago. And I'd then provide the facts. That would make my day, more likely my entire week. This must have been a long time ago. These days, $30 in NYC won't get you half a sandwich. I was on a business trip to a client site by car. But instead of booking a hotel room I stayed with my friend close to the client site. When I tried to expense my meals they got rejected because the expense department said it was a day trip since I didn't book a hotel. I told my VP that I will book hotel rooms going forward, check in and still stay with my friend, he said go ahead. So I was booking a room for $150 per night just so that I can expense my meals. There are loads of cheap food options within a block's walk. I had to explain this to accounting that me spending $40 in the Vegas CVS was going to save them $25 per meal buffets. I have a really restricted diet now and can't eat most restaurant food. I got lucky in NYC that there was a Greek place near me as I can usually eat most of it. Wasn't almost the same story posted last week. This is a common idiotic policy at most companies. Doesn't make any sense. Lol, love this. This is why you don't let accounting have final sign off on expenses. Your direct manager should sign off. They should know when you're trying to help and when you're taking the piss. Dot. If my guys want to get a more expensive hotel and bring their family. I'm cool with it. They just got to balance it out and not all go for a steak dinner each night lol. If your company gives you a per diem, use it. Why are you trying to save them money? You guilted yourself into buying frozen dinners. I don't get it lol. My friend got chased for money for three days for going 20p over budget. About a quarter in freedom units, that definitely encouraged her to not wastefully spend. At the same company I had to stay in a more expensive hotel, further from the client because the one next door didn't have the agreed rate with our provider. Finance, the F is for FKing morons. Of course there are cheap options there. It seems like the lady in accounting was underemployed she could take the time to nitpick like that. I was forced to eat at fancy restaurants. No, no, you were not. I cold sweat smile I you owe the.
Section section, X. Fancy. You should have made her beg you. Very similar story here. I went a week for training, go groceries for the week and they complained, said it needs to be a restaurant. They fully expect you to go out and eat every meal every day. I guess it's easier to do billing. But next time I went for training I maxed my daily limit and man was that hard, but nobody complained. To make a story short, company wants you to spend hundreds on restaurants and not $60 on groceries. Good for you. We used to have cheapest week wins competitions when I was on per diem. The team I was on had four other people and when we got really bored we would see who could live the cheapest for a week. Each person tosses the equivalent of one day's per diem into the pot. Everyone pulls out their receipts and we total them up. Lowest gets the pot. Lowest I ever got was $21 for a week but the hotel offered take and go breakfast. So I lived on those for three days until I couldn't stand it. Did I mention we were bored? I completely get the idiocy of forcing you to spend more money. But eating in everyday restaurants in the theater district is barely, if at all, possible for $30 $40 a meal. Fancy restaurants are definitely out. Government is the same. I had to order a 180,000 truck and in the same budget put in 3,000 for fuel testing. Guess which generated the most comment and questions from the business office. I had to meet with the head of the unit and justify the cost. Not going to school in NYC like I wanted to, because none of the schools have any eating places, and I can't afford to eat out at fancy restaurants all the time. Like I could go to a bodega, or any little shop, but I didn't want to do that every week, especially if there's not one next to the school. I was on a long-term project about a 6.5-hour drive away. I would fly there, rent a car, and stay for a month or two and then fly back. I once offered to save my company a ton of money if they would reimburse me the government rate per mile on my car instead of flying and getting a rental car for months. Company policy was only to reimburse at half the government rate, since it was assumed two employees would share a car, but in this case it was just me, and they would not make an exception. So I kept on flying and renting at greatly increased cost to the company. They never saw the error in their ways. Not only would driving have been cheaper than flying, but after I got there paying maybe $8 per day to use my own car would have been much cheaper than a rental. This post is familiar. As someone in accounting, I check for fraud. Yeah we can't give a fuck as long as you're not setting off alarm bells in the system laughing my ass off that's the only thing the people above us would give a fuck about, us making exceptions. If they say each meal is $40, each meal is $40 my boy enjoy. I had something similar. When traveling from Scotland to London by train there was a special ticket called something like, executive travel. It was technically a first class ticket, but included breakfast on the way down, evening meal on the way back up and unlimited tea, coffee, soft drinks. Because our company wouldn't pay for first class travel, they refused it. So I paid for a standard ticket and all of the food separately, it was around £30 more expensive. Hope you ate at Keynes one night. I've been to the theatre district plenty of times. There are lots of less expensive food options. Relatively speaking of course, because it is NYC and prices are high compared to other cities. Pro tip. Ask them to give you a per diem for food instead, go back to shopping for less expensive food, and pocket the difference. You had this due to the class of expense. Dinner out, tax deductible against profits, and chargeable to client. Groceries, benefit in kind, could hit your own taxes. Corporate apartment expenses, tax deductible against profits, and chargeable to client. And hash x200b. I had someone in finance explain to me the correct line item to use in concur, which made putting dollar 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 s in groceries through totally legit. Also meant no limits or allowances were hit. Too long did not read. Speak to someone in finance about what to do.